What are some things you need to consider when picking paint colors for a west facing room? More importantly, how do colors behave in western exposures? This applies to me because I'm currently in a northwestern exposure. So as long as you have some form of western exposure, whether it's northwest or southwest, or just west, this video is for you. This may seem like nitpicking at first, but factoring in which direction your natural light is coming from is a pretty crucial component of color selection. In many cases, your natural lighting will be the largest light source that you're working with. This is the reason why many people find the perfect color at their local paint store, but then bring it home only to find out that it looks completely different. <laughs> I guarantee you that the fluorescent tube lighting over there is going to be much different than what you have at home. We've already talked about east and north facing rooms, so today we're going to go west. Go west! Also, if you like the Pet Shop Boys, hit that like button. Actually, I think it was the village people that sang that first, but uh, like for 70s and 80s music. Let's quickly talk about what happens in western exposed rooms throughout the day. And we can do this just by thinking of where the sun is in relation to your room. Because the sun rises in the east in the morning, your western exposed rooms won't be getting any direct sunlight. When a paint color is in the shade, the colors themselves end up looking shaded and lose some of their natural visual saturation. This means that any of those brighter colors will look a bit more like gray has been added into them, which makes them feel a bit softer overall. This also means that if you have a lot of gray in your room, those grays are gonna look even grayer somehow, which kind of sounds a bit depressing to me personally. But when we're talking about mornings, none of this matters if you're the type of person that enjoys a cheeky sleep in, <laughs> because around lunchtime, the sun is gonna be directly above you. This means that the sky overall is pretty much at its brightest point because it's flooding light to the widest area but you still won't be getting a whole lot of warm light in your western room at this point. Your paint colors will maintain a bit of that neutral grayed out look, a little bit, only this time there'll be more pale light filling the space. The impact here is any of your lighter colors will lose a lot of their visual color hue and saturation. So if you're a fan of subtle off-whites, then that nuance you really enjoy will virtually vanish and those colors will tend to look a little bit washed out at this point. But where the fun really starts for me in Western exposed rooms is after lunch. When you're busy digesting that egg salad sandwich you munched on, the sun will begin to make its way through your window. It's not quite an orange glow that's gonna come in, but it's more of a switch from a white light to a pleasant warm off-white. This is where your gray beige colors will actually look grayish instead of gray and will tend to give the whole space a cozier feel. As the day progresses, this effect is further amplified and that warm yellowy light will look a whole lot warmer, even transitioning to a bit of an orange coral tint, especially if the sun is in your direct line of sight as it sets, which is super pretty. So really, it's pretty much the opposite behavior of an east facing room. So that's a pretty easy way to remember both is the fact that they're kind of yin and yang to one another. But now that you know how Western exposures work with color, what can you do about it? James, I want my color to look the same throughout the day. It doesn't matter what time it is, okay? I'm sick of all these colors changing throughout the day. Well, unfortunately, there's not much you can do. I'm still working on my patented color changing paint that adjusts to lighting exposures, but until then, you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that your paint color is going to visually change throughout the day. The key is embracing that change and also asking yourself the fundamental question of what time of day do you wanna prioritize when picking a color? It's always a good idea to think about when you'll most likely use whatever room you're painting and then choosing a color at that time of day. Because if you really enjoy how a paint color looks in the afternoon and hate how it is in the morning and it's your bedroom, then maybe that's not the right choice. When you've decided what time of day you're most likely going to be in that Western facing room, then you can start to whittle down your choices a bit. Like we mentioned earlier, in the morning, the natural lighting will be a bit dim and grayed out. So I tend to favor brighter and warmer colors. I wouldn't go too light either because you want something that has a bit of depth so the look won't be too dingy, especially in those corners. Normally picking something with a warmer undertone and an LRV no higher than 80 is a pretty good place to start. 
And if you don't know about LRV, it's a value that's applied to every single paint color called light reflectance value. And it's on a scale from zero to 100, zero being dark, dark black, and 100 being 100% white. The lighting issue that's present in the morning isn't really a thing around noon because now the sky will be completely full of light, but when your paint colors are bombarded with a lot of that light, they can sometimes feel a little bit washed out. And that just means they lose a bit of their visual color and they just become kind of a plain old white in certain cases. This is yet another situation where I think it's even more important to go a tiny bit deeper with your colors, maybe something 75 LRV or lower, so you'll still see an actual paint color on your walls even at the brightest point of the day. In terms of undertones, this one is more so personal preference because the light that's coming in is still pretty fairly neutral and white, but a safe answer is pick something that is sort of a mixture maybe greens or purples that have both cool and warm aspects in one color. Finally, for those of you that are mainly in your western facing rooms in the mid to late afternoon, you will be working with quite a bit of warm natural light coming in. And you might think to try and counterbalance that with cooler wall colors, but I'm personally a fan of working alongside that warmth with my paint color choices as well. So not a ton of orange or yellow, because that'll just be way too overpowering with warmth, but I gravitate towards colors that are warmer leaning in their undertones, maybe something like Plaster of Paris, which I'm currently using in my Northwestern exposed room. It's the power of neutrals, I tell ya. <laughs> Love them or hate them. Stay posted for our five west facing room color list coming up soon. And if you missed our east and north videos, I'll have them up for you right over here on the left side today. Gotta switch it up on the old screeny mabob. You're the best for watching. Thanks for putting up with me. See you on the next one.